you all from Edison India. Yeah. Good afternoon. This is day two of the PI Regulators and Policymakers Retreat here at Goa. And I have the pleasure of introducing uh, to you Mr. Pashupati Gopalan, CEO of uh, Sun Edison India. Welcome to the retreat, Mr. Gopalan. Thank you very much, Farah. Pleasure to be here. Right. Uh, Mr. Gopalan, we'd like to know, Sun Edison has done such a wonderful job of setting up solar power plants uh, in various other places in the world. What brings you here to India? It's our belief that uh, India will be one of the largest markets for uh, solar energy in the world. A, I think because uh, India is endowed with a significant amount of uh, sunlight. Currently, Germany is the largest market and India gets nearly, nearly one and a half to two times that much sunlight. So if Germany can be the world's largest market, uh, why not India? The second is I think India needs a lot of power. I think there's all kinds of estimates which says India needs to be at uh, 600 to 700 gigawatts by 2030. And we already are seeing very serious issues with coal and thermal power plant and renewables are not going to be something that we need to do just because of environmental and climate change reasons, but just because of the growth in uh, requirement of power, there will be a very significant role that solar will play in bridging the gap between where we are today, which is, let's say, about 200 gigawatts, going to 700, 750 gigawatts in the next 15 to 18 years. So the Indian consumer feels, uh, you know, uh, he's having to pay higher prices for everything right now. His petrol bills have gone up, and his concern is that now his power bills are going up, and he feels that uh, renewable power is adding to his power bill because it is factored in some way or the other. Uh, what is your take on that? It is true that at this surface, the renewable energy is more expensive than conventional energy. Uh, but the issue is the conventional energy is also not priced right because it's a very highly political issue that touches the people the state electricity boards are making enormous amount of accumulated losses, billions and billions of dollars every year. And essentially the government is subsidizing the power. So the people, I don't know how much they know about this, but if they do, they need to realize that the government is subsidizing power. So the question is really uh, uh, renewables, if they were to be subsidized to the same extent the conventional power is subsidized, I think you can really build a massive renewable uh, capacity in the country which can really help us get energy security you know we don't need to import as much coal as we do today and the coal imports are increasing every year there are all kinds of pricing issues related to coal import so just like oil coal is going to determine a significant amount of India's forex reserves and volatility in forex uh, capacity and reserves in the country in the coming decades so it's really for energy security and the good of our future generation that we need to support renewable today uh, and the subsidy is really just one form versus another of uh, moving the subsidy from what we do in conventional power into renewable so it's really not too much more subsidy than that how is the uh, regime here in india in terms of solar energy uh, do you have provisions of banking of solar power or does it enable uh, you to recover your investments in the uh, time period that you foresee there is really no banking. I don't think the, the industry is as well developed as wind or something else. But the, the tariffs are determined by the state and the central energy regulator. And they've done a very good job between CERC and uh, GERC, the Gujarat regulators. have done a very good job of uh, arriving at a decent tariff, which allows the investors to make a decent amount of return. I don't think anybody is making high levels of return. It's just what is economically sensible so that investments can come and that is already happening. The national, uh, uh, en national Solar Mission, driven by MNRE and NVVN, has done a very good job of uh, running uh, a reverse bidding, which is allowing for price of solar energy to drop from what used to be close to 19 rupees just two years back to the 7 to 9 rupee range today, less than half. Uh, and a greater capacity. So I think the regulators are doing a fantastic job of lowering the price burden on the government and allowing a mechanism where the investor still finds it interesting to invest their money and build these projects. Sun Edison is now installing uh, solar panels uh, and other panels on top of canals. Right. So we've heard. Tell us about that. So the, the, the canal project which we did, which is a one megawatt, one kilometer long 
canal in Narmada canal outskirts of uh, Gandhinagar was really the vision was from uh, Honorable Chief Minister of Gujarat, uh, Mr. Modi and the Honorable Energy Secretary, Mr. Pandian and the Honorable Minister, uh, Mr. Saurabhai Patel. Uh, Mr. Modi had the vision that if you build the solar projects on top of the canal, you don't need to use land because land is always precious in India and also land has a lot of issues. You know, and when you build projects, it's not easy to procure land. The second is because there is an underlying water body, it can cool the panels. And when the panels are cooled a little bit, you can actually produce more power for the same megawatt. So you can produce more energy uh, in the same one megawatt plant as opposed to a land. So these are some of the benefits. And also the canal runs through the uh, rural part of the state. So it can actually deliver power to farmers for pumping and other capabilities. So this was his vision and he requested us to take up the challenge and build it and we have done it. So what we've seen is after this project has been built uh, and we did it from concept to finish, we are seeing tremendous amount of interest from all kinds of states and national agencies to build more and more of uh, canal top projects. The, the challenge is the cost is more expensive because of the structure cost and the steel cost are more than a regular plant uh, and doesn't necessarily compensate for the cost of land being uh, reduced. So we'll have to work on it technologically and keep the cost low while there is a lot of interest. So it is a, it is a promising innovation which really started from the Chief Minister and he should get the credit for it, not us. But we definitely took his uh, request and suggestion and uh, uh, turned it into reality and the credit for that goes to us and we're seeing as a result a lot of inquiries because of that. So I'd like to congratulate you on Sun Edison winning the award for the best uh, solar power producer IPP here in India. Uh, would you like to tell us, you know, how has the journey been thus far? It's been a, it's been a very uh, tough, painful journey, uh, only because it's a new industry that is starting up in India. And uh, not only do we have the normal problems that one has building infrastructure projects in India, which starts with land and permissions, and even for land, Converting it, first of all, acquiring land and converting it into uh, 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 non-agriculture use takes sometimes hundreds and hundreds of permissions and a very, very long journey. I think fortunately, uh, we've been very kind. The regulatory regime has been very uh, uh, capable. You know, there's been a lot of uh, uh, very strong people on the government side we have interacted. The lenders have been phenomenal. LNT, Infrastructure Finance, OPIC of the United States, IFC, uh, the World Bank Group and IDFC, all of, all of them have really supported us when we needed them. And the Gujarat Energy Regulators, the National Solar Mission and MNRE have been very, very kind and supportive. And the whole process has been extremely transparent and very well run. You know, a lot of people complain about India not being transparent and corrupt and all of that. We haven't faced a single issue uh, in our journey to become the leading solar energy developer in India. And as a multinational company, we have limitations, but what, what we've found is there has been tremendous amount of transparency support and the programs have been extremely well run and which is why, because of being a level playing field, we were able to pour in our passion and resources and dollars and be able to achieve what we've achieved. Thank you, Mr. Gupalan, and have a wonderful time at the retreat, sir. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here.